Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disneyland for D23 Day. It is officially the kickoff for D23, the ultimate Disney fan event. And I figured I'd make a little video sharing all my experiences with you. We're gonna head into the park, probably ride a bunch of rides and do some special things that we can only do on D23 Day and uh, talk about some of the things I'm excited for for the expo. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful D23 kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I am so excited to be back in Disneyland. This is my favorite Disney theme park, and I've actually been to four Disney resorts this year alone. I've been to Tokyo Disney, Disneyland Paris, Walt Disney World, and then here at Disneyland California. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited for all of the D23 festivities. This is the first D23 day, so I'm excited to see what we have in store for us. And I'm excited for the uh, D23 Ultimate Fan Event this weekend. I'm going to be at the Honda Center uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I can't wait to share all my experiences with you. They're going to be announcing all the upcoming projects uh, for the parks all around the world and uh, entertainment, movies, and I'm just going to be in the Honda Center watching it live, and it's going to be amazing. So thank you, Disney and D23, for inviting me out, and I can't wait. I can't wait for everything that has to uh, that has to come take a look at this they have a special map for the first d23 day at disneyland august 8 2024 take a peek at these recommended offerings and experience to commemorate the day i love that and it's oh look at little poster that's fancy. And uh, here are all the different things that they have uh, special for the day. They have character encounters, photo opportunities, live entertainment, and we're gonna try to check them all out. I like this, it's very fancy. One of the things I'm probably most excited for is that they're having a special D23 day cavalcade at 1215. So we're gonna hang around here just until that starts. And then I can't wait to ride some rides. We're gonna be able to park hop and go over to DCA later. Hopefully I wanna see Deadpool because Deadpool is doing like meet and greets in Avengers Campus. It's just gonna be an awesome day. And then D23 Expo right after this. 23 day at Disneyland. The world famous Disneyland band. Selected Disney legends and 23 of your favorite oh, Disney are characters are oh, here. I'm glad we're watching them. Woohoo! He's the animator. He's a crazy 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 Joey Benson's up there? Linda Larkin? Wow! Guys, look at that! <laughs> oh, there's Bill Farmer! Hi! Wow! Oh, Alice! Tony Baxter! Oh, yeah. Well, that Disney cavalcade was fun, and I like how they had different Disney like legends in there. Tony Baxter, Linda, uh, Linda Larkin, and uh, it was cool to see all the different characters too. And I don't know, like I said, I think that's a once once in a lifetime parade, like literally once in a lifetime cavalcade. Like they're not gonna. There's only one first D23 day, and they have one over at DCA too, but I think it's different. So maybe we'll see that later on when we park hop. We decided to come hang out at Jolly Holiday a little bit and just admire in that nice D23 day picture, right? What a fun day. I know, it is nice, isn't it? We saw some legends in the parade, which was fun. What a cool day. It was, it was cozy. Kristen's opening a new camera, unboxing a new camera. Yeah. DJI Osmo Pocket 3 unboxing right here at the Jolly Holiday. I'm the best Amazon delivery, okay? Because it delivers straight to your Disneyland table at Jolly Holiday. You brought in. Oh, and you got two of the hats too, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> New and Nick. They're giving them away for free in the morning, but then they were gone within uh, 30 minutes, they said. 
They were giving away these ears this morning to anyone that was coming in the park and they had the teal ones and the black ones and uh, they had an extra pair. So I'm so happy because they were gone within the half an hour. So they didn't have enough for everybody that was coming today. Uh, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much. And I'm glad I got to show you guys. They look really fancy. Now that we got to see the cavalcade, I think we're gonna make our way over to the Matterhorn. I'm excited. I always feel like the Matterhorn is probably my like go-to uh, ride whenever I come to Disneyland on vacation. It's like the first one I wanna always rush to go ride. I always like to focus on rides that I can't ride over in Florida because I don't get to come out to Disneyland as often as I get to go to, you know, Walt Disney World. And boy, oh boy, do they have a lot here. They have tons and I love all of them. Here are some of the cool photo pass props they have for D23 Day. I like this one because it's, uh, it's a small world. And then look, the Matterhorn Mountain one right there. I like these. This is really fancy. All uh, right. I wish it was a Matterhorn. Uh, uh, Ma yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Well, they're yeah, very fancy. On top of just like hanging out at the expo all weekend long, I'm actually gonna be doing a meet and greet Saturday at the Roosevelt's booth from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And I'm excited because that's gonna be such an amazing booth. The amount of like detail they put into it, it's more of an experience since it's the first time we've ever done anything like this. And I can't wait to, you know, show you guys a little bit uh, in the uh, upcoming days. Oh boy, Sean, we're going to the left. This is a classic one. Which one's the left side? Is there a difference? I, I think this side is the one that hurts you more. This is the good side? The good side. Okay, good, good. The good side then. Are you guys ready? Oh boy. <laughs> and be sure to watch your children. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Why does it look so scary in there? Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! We're coming in hot! Here it comes! I am so happy that we decided to ride Matterhorn Mountain first. That was so much fun. And now I'm just sitting here looking out at Finding Nemo Submarine Voyages. And I just love this. This area is so nice. And I love hearing all the, the screams from Matterhorn. I heard your screams too. I got kind of spooked by the Yeti. Yeah, the Yeti got you? I kind of forgot where the Yeti was. <laughs> wow, that is such a great ride. I love it. Another cool thing they got for uh, D23 Day is a Tomorrowland dance party with some characters. And I think we're going to make our way over there just to give it a peek see. Are you ready to see Horse Horse Collar DJ? Yeah. All right, are you ready? Just uh, push that button right there. Yeah, just push it. DJ Horse. That's way too fast. You want to try it again? All right, go. DJ Horse. Matterhorn Mountain was definitely the way to start the day and now I feel a little bit more awake and alert and I think we're gonna maybe make our way over to uh, DCA. We're gonna be park hopping all day and we're even gonna leave uh, and go to a Roosevelt's Insiders meetup uh, and I just figured I'd make a whole day vlog of uh, just sharing my uh, experience with you and I'm like having the greatest time ever. There's just something about Disneyland that hits differently. I find myself just sitting in the hub here, just hanging out, listening to music, and just looking at everything every time I come here. It's always just so nice and, nice and cozy. 
I know that Walt Disney World is a lot bigger and it has four theme parks, but the fact that you can walk from Disneyland to DCA in just two minutes is like one of the greatest things ever. Like, look at this. We're already in DCA. We just walked out and onto another adventure, Disney California adventure. Ooh, and we got the music pumping in. I'm excited. Just like Disneyland, they're also celebrating D23 Day here. And when you walk in, they actually have a little QR scanner where you can get all the information about uh, D23 Day. That's kind of nice. I think we're going to make our way over to Radiator Springs and hang out in the Cars Land area and then maybe down to Incredicoaster. That's another one of my favorite rides. If I had to say, I would do Guardians, uh, uh, Radiator Springs, and Incredicoaster. Those three, oh, Monsters, too. But well, you know what? DCA is actually loaded. I mean, I, I have a lot of fun, actually, when I'm hanging out here. The theming in Cars Land is just so amazing. Look at this. Oh, you love it, too. I do this favorite land in any theme park. Yeah, it is just so good. Until you go to Tokyo Disney Sea. That's true. Like I said, I love Disneyland, like Disneyland California, the original Disneyland. That's like my favorite part just because of the rides, the history. But uh, if I was to pick like a second, it would definitely be uh, Tokyo Disney Sea. We're gonna ride the good old Radiator Springs Racers. 80 minute wait right now, but we have a lightning lane and I'm excited. I love this ride. And uh, you know, there was a lot of rumors of, you know, this coming to the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World, but I don't know if those are true. I guess we'll find out, you know, all speculation though. This is Scotty's first time riding this ride. First time in Disneyland too. So I'm excited we get to ride together. What kind of car you want, Scotty? I mean, the old Lightning McQueen would be good. You're going red? I want the yellow one, I think. I'll actually I'll take green. Green? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. You guys excited? I'm so excited. I know! Oh! <laughs> Alright, who are we racing? Time for the race! Time for the race! Oh, oh, they're up there already! The competition! Where are they at? Oh boy! You ready for this? Tonight they're gonna ride it in the co op. <laughs> ah! 
I love that ride. I'm happy I got to ride it with you guys for the first yeah, time. Fun, yeah, so good. You loved it, right? It was so good. It was, so good. It was Sp test track speed, but so much more fun. The theming. It's the I mean, theming, the visuals. It's the visuals. It's the visuals. And just yelling ka -chow every few, a few seconds. I mean, ka -chow. Ka -chow. I have been trying to find some D23 day treats in the parks, and I haven't been able to find any, but we came to a little creator meetup, and they have these cookies here, and I thought they were a little uh, fancy, so I wanted to show you. I'm going to try them, too, because they do look pretty good. I don't know what flavor they are. Just might be icing and then shortbread. Look at this. It's like a fancy D23 day cookie break, and the back of the cookie looks pretty good. Oh. 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 It's a nice little lemon cookie. I wasn't expecting that. And I like it. It's actually really good. And we're hanging out. This is the Creator Meetup beer. It's a nice little cozy area at the Hyperion Courtyard. Now we're making our way into Avengers Campus. Oh, man, this music's got me all pumped. They come walking in hot. And take a look at this. Actually, Moon Knight is doing a meet and greet in Avengers Campus. I haven't seen Moon Knight here in a while. I bet you they're gonna have some announcements soon. One of my favorite places to eat in DCA is uh, Pim's Test Kitchen. Kristen just asked what I'm gonna get to eat, and I'll tell you, I always get the pretzel because I love it so much, and I get the tater tots because they're so good. So I think I'm gonna get a little pretzel, a little tater tot, Avenger Campus. Sounds like a nice little meal at DCA. Seriously, look at all of this. There it is, the quantum pretzel. And then they have the subatomic chicken sandwich, which is so good. Man, I really do love the food here. And I was just talking about how uh, in Disneyland Paris, they have a buffet Pim's Test Kitchen, and it's so good. Looks like they're making the pretzels up there right now. Hey, that one's yours. Oh, it's time to make the pretzels. I already made the pretzels. Look at this, I ended up getting the big old pretzel. I don't want this cheese sauce though. Kristen's like, give me. I was waiting for this. Look at, look at this. That's the pretzel I come for right here. I also got the not so little chicken sandwich and tater tots. Kristen got the not so little tater, not so little uh, chicken sandwich. Yours is bigger than mine though. Yeah, and when, you guys got the, the big old taco. Yeah, we got the giant taco. Look at that! Earth Holy is good. moly! It's so good. Yeah, it, it looks good. Do not break it. Do you know? like that? No. <laughs> the bun ratio on here is just like ridiculous, though. <laughs> so like, I like to try to do it like this, open face style. <laughs> so then I can eat it. Enough of the little chicken sandwich business. Now I think we're gonna start making our way over to the Roosevelt's uh, Insider Meetup over at Lefty Lopez's. It's a little spot right outside uh, uh, Disneyland and uh, I'm kind of excited. I know we didn't get a lot done in the park that I wanted to today, but it's just day one and <laughs> I honestly came in, hit the ground running, and I'm starting to feel the full effect of that. <laughs> you know, whenever I come out to California, I go full vacation mode and I wake up super early and just kind of enjoy the park all day. And now it's time to go sit down and relax a little bit and uh, put the dogs up. <laughs> Roosevelt is having like an official uh, D23 kickoff party here at Lopez and Lefties. And I'm excited. A bunch of Roosevelt insiders. I think they were saying karaoke or something there too. As you can tell, that escalated very quickly, but uh, it's just a lot of people having fun, singing karaoke, eating food, and uh, just talking about D23 and all the things we're excited for. I really love coming to the Insider Meetups. Roosevelt's puts together a great, like, you know what I mean, event, and I uh, can't wait to show you guys the booth that they have in store. It's going to be incredible. Tony Baxter and Jimmy Mulligan are working on it, and it's going to be amazing. Something really perfect for D23. Look at this! Woo! Wow! Lopez and lefties. <laughs> yeah. 
the Roosevelt's Insiders meetup was so much fun. My voice is going to be shot from singing so much, but honestly, I laughed a lot. I had a lot of fun, and it was great to hang out with so many good friends and just, you know, have fun. Like, we did this uh, two years ago for last D23, and uh, they, we decided to go back to the same location. And uh, I think uh, we'll just make it a, maybe a tradition and have a nice uh, pre-D23 party uh, maybe two years from now. Because the D23 Fan Expo actually only goes on every other year. And in fact, it's kind of crazy because I made my way back to the convention, and people are outside waiting right now. They're going to sleep here to get in there tomorrow morning at like 5 or 6 a.m. and they've been here probably for a while you can see there's probably about uh, 15 people lined up over there and then a good uh, 20 people and they have the chairs set up right here and they're just hanging out they're probably trying to get some of the merchandise and get uh, heads up on the crowds I can't even believe it. it's so cool I mean they're just they're just chilling sitting there in their chairs and relaxing I'm not sure exactly what time uh, it's going to open up for them to get in there, but it's going to be well over 10 hours because I know that one set of uh, people, the group, have been sitting there uh, since earlier today. So they're probably going on 10 or 12 hours. Man, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to share everything with you guys. It's honestly crazy to think in just a couple of hours, this is going to be flooded with close to 100,000 people all piling in to come to the ultimate Disney fan. I just like calling it that, the ultimate Disney fan event. So I think we're gonna call it a night here. Uh, like I said, I had a great time. D23 day, the first one was a success. I loved seeing the cavalcades and also I just loved hanging out in the park with a bunch of Disney fans. Like you can just tell it felt different inside Disneyland today. There was so much atmosphere, like people being happy and excited to be there. And it's gonna be a great weekend and I can't wait to share like I said, all my experiences with you. So with that, uh, like I said, I think we're going to call it a night. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And I can't wait to uh, share all the D23 festivities for the weekend with you. Anywho's, bye.